Hi, in this video I'm going to talk you through how to use my new Note Mod device for Max for Live. It allows you to map a range of notes to any parameter in Live, much like a kind of mappable key tracking device. And you can also map individual notes to particular points of your choosing on a parameter too. So let's have a look how it works. So here we are in Ableton and I've got a wavetable synth loaded. All we need to do is drag the note mod device onto your track and then drag that into your user library to be used again. There are two views. There's a normal view just for mapping a range of notes and you've got an expanded view which will map individual notes to points on a parameter. Let's look at the normal view first. So here we're going to map a range of notes to a parameter on wavetable. The incoming area shows you the note that you're actually playing at the time. So let's choose the lowest note first. We'll go with a C1. All you need to do is click the low button and you'll see there that it's mapped to note C1. Then just press the highest note in the range. We're going to use C5 and we can map that to C5. You should see, as I'm playing my push, that the slider's moving in accordance with the, uh, the position of the note in the range that you've chosen. All we need to do now is click map and map that to a parameter. So that's how you map a range of notes. If you click expand, you can also map individual notes as well. So let's map these to a different parameter. So first we set a value. Uh, here we'll go with zero, so the slider's at the very bottom. Again, you choose the note that you want. You can see it in the incoming area there. We'll go with C2, map to value zero and set position. And there we go, it's mapped. So let's choose our next note, um, let's go for A2, set this to value 40, there we go, that's mapped. Um, let's set the next one to D3 and we'll map that at 127. So now you can see that as you play the three notes that we've mapped, the slider moves to the positions that you've set. And let's map this to decay time. Okay, that's about everything. Um, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.